uh, Dr. Wong uh, brought up the subject of social equity. And uh, since he did, I would like to call to your attention this rare and hard to get report of the Texas Dental Association, uh, December 08, so recent. And uh, in it, they talk about the endemic tooth problems, decay, and, and other poor oral health among low-income people in Texas, specifically. It's based on the uh, 2000 Surgeon General's report for the whole country, which says the same thing. Fluoride is not doing anything to help low-income people's teeth. That is a myth. Mr. Moncada was talking about the MSDS sheets for uh, uh, fluorosilicic acid that we use as opposed to natural forms of fluoride, and he need go no farther than to the website of the vendor, Lucier uh, Chemicals. Uh, that's L-C-I-L-T-D dot com. And you can, uh, you can download the MSDS sheets for both uh, the chemical that we use, fluorosilicic, and uh, sodium fluoride, a natural farm that's also used in some places, though very few, for water fluoridation. They're both nasty, and it's, uh, it's uh, not easy to tell by reading those MSDS sheets which one is the worst. It facilitates the uptake of lead. My name is Neil Carmen with the Sierra Club, and I'm very concerned about the report that the city issued. I found that there's numerous omissions. Hydrofluorosilicic acid is an extremely dangerous and deadly chemical that's used in Austin. There was no mention, uh, for example, of the material safety data sheets of how dangerous this chemical is. Uh, number two is the fact that hydrofluorosilicic Solistic acid is also one of the most dangerous chemicals transported in Austin if there were to be a serious accident and a breaching of the container uh, on the highway or the city streets. And a lot of people don't know the hazards associated with a spill and a breaching of one of these tankers that goes right through the city of Austin and to the treatment plants. Uh, the chemical used in the artificial water fluoridation by the city of Austin contains other toxic chemicals such as lead, mercury, cadmium, uh, and, and arsenic. Uh, we don't even know all the chemicals that are in it. So this is not a single chemical. It's a smorgasbord, a toxic cocktail of very harmful chemical. Artificial water fluoridation chemical used by Austin is classified by the Environmental Protection Agency as a hazardous waste. Why would anybody want to put a toxic hazardous waste from industrial manufacturing plants in the drinking water supply? The synergistic effects of fluoride um, with lead, aluminum, and iodine uh, cause differences in the way it's absorbed in the body. For example, fluoride causes an inhibition of the acetylcholine esterase enzyme, which is very important in acetylcholine uh, neuron transmission in the body. Also, fluoride increases aluminum uptake in the body. Uh, and also, it's a known endocrine disrupting agent impacting the pineal gland and the thyroid. Recent carcinogenicity research with, uh, with fluoride links to osteosarcoma, such as uh, was demonstrated a few years ago at Harvard University by a team of four sciences. Uh, there was no mention of, of new research just out this year linking fluoride to osteosarcoma. Fluoride dose from the drinking water is not controlled or evaluated by the city. Fluoridated drinks and foods, there's hundreds of, of beverages and foods sold in Austin every day that contain fluoride or they're made with fluoridated water. In 1990, uh, according to review I read, there were 220 drugs, prescription drugs containing fluorine. There's enough fluoride in a tube of toothpaste to kill a child. There's been no epidemiological study in Austin to evaluate the effects of fluoride. I think if you're going to want to look for whether there is or are not uh, adverse health effects, you would need to do an epidemiological study. The city didn't mention anything about the fact that fluoride is bioaccumulative poison. In the last few years, there's been over 200 uh, cities in the U.S. that have rejected fluoridation or decided to stop it. I think there's a big question mark about the purity 
Uh, the city says this goes through some kind of a refining process. It's very nebulous. Uh, there's a lot of skepticism that it's really not refined. Uh, if it was refined, why would you find other impurities such as lead, mercury, arsenic, cadmium, and so forth? Overall, the city's review doesn't deserve a passing grade. Uh, well, I taught up at the university. I graded hundreds of, of papers by students. This paper would not pass an undergraduate course in the biological sciences, in my opinion. One milliliter of toothpaste would be a really big glob of toothpaste. I think it's about twice as much as you'd use. And that would be about as much fluoride as is in two of these water bottles of Austin City Water. <coughs> so if you're not comfortable eating a big dose of toothpaste, you shouldn't be comfortable drinking about twice this much Austin tap water. It's an active city. We have a lot of cyclists and bikers, uh, runners. People drink a lot of it. Just because the concentration is low, we drink a lot. A low dose of something bad that we drink a lot of is going to build up. It's not good for you. Now, doctor, you like the CDC website. I like that website, too. It tells us a lot of good stuff. Um, one of them is that we get fluoride for our water from a very clever source, which is a co-product of the phosphate industry. Now, that's a byproduct of the phosphate industry, which we know is toxic. They can't dispose of it in normal ways. Doctor, would you knowingly consume a toxic substance that is too toxic to be thrown away in a trash can? Well, you know, uh, that's, uh, I would not knowing, knowingly consume something that I know is going to be toxic to me. So. Wonderful. I'm still not having a very large income and not looking at the CDC's website. I don't want to use fluoridated water for formula. Should I be required to purchase bottles of water for my children's health, not to mention my wife and my own health? Again, in terms of your being required to do anything, it would be your choice. And again, it sounds, you know, there is information about that as, as you're purchasing your formula. I suppose you would purchase whatever else you need to uh, make the formula appropriate. But I'm trying to follow the CDC's recommendation. They say don't give fluoridated water to infants. That's what I'm trying to do. It's very expensive, especially for the lower, lower class who we say this benefits. You said that, right? This benefits the lower class more? Well, I think, I think the point was that um, it is a method that gets that social equity in terms of the benefits for on um, dental caries uh, that, so that, that the populations aren't having to buy toothpaste. Uh, Robert Carlton, PhD, a former EPA scientist said, fluoridation is the greatest case of scientific fraud of this century. William Marcus, PhD, senior EPA toxicologist said, regarding fluoridation, the EPA should act immediately to protect the public not just on the cancer data, but on the evidence of bone fractures, arthritis, mutagenicity, and other effects. And EPA headquarters has completely banned fluoride from its building, not even in the wastewater. They will not let any fluoride into their building. Dr. Blaylock, neurosurgeon, says, as it stands, there is in fact no credible evidence that fluoride added to the water supply reduces cavity rates at all. And several studies have convincingly demonstrated that the incidence of cavities is actually higher in fluoridated areas. Dr. Dean Burke, former chief chemist of the National Cancer Institute, and Dr. John Yam Yonis said they compared 10 cities, 10 fluoridated, 10 non-fluoridated, and they concluded that the death rate in the fluoridated cities is 10%, uh, there's a 10% increase in cancer deaths following the first 13 to 17 years of fluoridation. Dr. Wolfgang Klein demonstrated that cells exposed to one part per million fluoride exhibit a 50% reduction in DNA repair enzyme activity. And if the DNA um, damage is in the uh, reproductive cells, it transfers to children. We're transferring DNA damage to children by putting one part per million fluoride in the water. Chinese research showed that the number of children having IQs below 70 increased as much as 21 percent in um, fluoridated towns. They did several tests on fluoridated versus non-fluoridated uh, cities. The the uh, number of highly intelligent children was uh, decreased and the number of severely impaired children was increased with uh, fluoridation. Ninety percent of Europe does not fluoridate. As far as social equity, the poor are unaware of the dangers of fluoride. They do not have the money to buy the expensive filters. 
That is not social equity. It's putting this damage on the poor. I started speaking to city council in February of this year about fluoride versus organic gardens and how it's really impossible for us to have organic gardens in Austin if our water's full of fluoride. And I find it ironic that the Clean Water Act was passed, I believe, in 1972, and that our uh, citizens were bamboozled in believing that this particular fluoride would be good for their teeth. I seriously doubt that when the referendum was being pushed back in the early 70s, whether people were told then that this fluoride was going to be coming from the toxic phosphate fertilizer industry.